The Brooklyn Nets set out to be one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference, obviously led by KD and Kyrie Irving. Coming off a season where they did just make the playoffs with a team of D'Angelo Russell, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jared Allen, a lot of young guys to build around. They traded everybody away. They revamped the entire team to build around these two guys. Even though they went out and signed two of the best superstars in the league at the time, this team definitely did struggle. Now the question is, is it Kyrie Irving's fault? Is it Ben Simmons fault or is it just KD and his lack of leadership we don't know but we are here to build Kevin Durant's dream team so let's go ahead and do just that now over on my main channel we were talking about the second channel and I did ask if you guys wanted a face cam on these videos as well and you guys said yes go for it so that is what we're gonna be doing first video with a face cam if you guys wanted to continue smash that like button if you guys want more face cam videos but on top of that guys comment down below whose dream team we should build next now looking at this roster, obviously there's a lot of moves that I think could be made with this team. I mean, again, they put Kyrie Irving at that shooting guard position because they do have Ben Simmons obviously running the point. Now, do I think that these three could potentially work out together? Not really. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think Kyrie Irving is the main guy that needs to be traded, especially since coming back from his suspension. He has not really been playing all that well. He's really only hit over 20 points. I believe three out of the last seven games that they have played so he has really just not been playing all that great Ben Simmons I do think is a good fit next to KD I know a lot of people say he can't shoot and that is a big problem which I do agree with but I think it's more of a lack of aggressiveness rather than a lack of shooting that really is Ben Simmons issue he's come back and he's actually had some pretty good games showing glimpses of his former self so I think Ben Simmons can stay on this team now, again, I do try to keep this as realistic as possible, and that is what I'm going to be trying to do. Now, some of the trades not be re may be realistic, but we are going to be bringing people in that I think do benefit KD. So don't expect to be seeing Giannis, LeBron, Tatum, Booker, any of those guys. This is a trade that I think would be amazing to put next to Kevin Durant. OG Ananobi, Gary Trent Jr., hear me out. Gary Trent Jr. has been a really underrated a little inconsistent, but an underrated shooter in the NBA. And on top of that, OG is putting up a really good all-star level season, in my opinion. I mean, his averages have actually been really solid. And especially the fact that, again, he has been putting up defensive player of the year numbers as well. I think he is a perfect addition to put next to a guy like Kevin Durant. Next up, I mean, we have to trade for a good shooting guard that can space the floor, but not only that, have a really underrated playmaking ability, and that is going to be Desmond Bain. Now, the reason why I like this trade so much is that he reminds me a lot of Royce O'Neal in the sense that he is a very good three-point shooter, but also has, again, a very underrated playmaking ability. So putting this guy next to, again, a guy like Kevin Durant, I think is going to fit pretty nicely with this team. So just taking a look again at the updated roster here, I, I do they do keep trying to start Royce O'Neal, but obviously OG is going to be in that starting position. So this new starting five, I actually really do like. Ben Simmons, Desmond Bain, OG, Kevin Durant. One problem I have with this lineup, though, is Nicholas Claxton here being in this starting five. The reason why I don't like Claxton in the same lineup with Ben Simmons is because neither of them can space the floor. You're going to need a big man that can shoot the ball a little bit to give KD, to give OG, to give Desmond Bain to give Ben Simmons that room to really go to work with driving in. And I think the perfect big man to go ahead and do this for with is Christian Wood. I actually really like the idea of Christian Wood being put next to Kevin Durant. So I think this is going to be the team. I mean, I think an ideal, and again, I, I'm not saying it's completely realistic, but I'm just saying options that I think fit perfectly next to Kevin Durant that aren't just throwing a bunch of superstars next to him. Ben Simmons, Desmond Bain, OG Ananobi, Kevin Durant, Christian Wood. I love this starting five. I think this fits perfectly. Again, I think Ben actually works really nicely next to him. And then off the bench, we're going to have Royce O'Neal, again, super underrated playmaker, two really good shooters in Seth Curry and Gary Trent Jr. And they do have Edmund Summer here. I don't know if I really want Edmund Summer there. We kind of need a big off the bench. Um, you know what? Let's give it to Yuta. I, I know it sounds kind of weird, I guess, but screw it. Yuta, you are big off the bench, I guess. But let's uh, I feel like we need it. Uh, we need to trade for a big. Hold on. I'm going to just trade for Rashawn Holmes. I just feel like this is like a good trade to be able to go. Okay, what is going on here? Okay, there we go. I feel like Rashawn Holmes is a good trade piece, again, to have off the bench just because, again, he is a very solid backup big. I feel like we could just have. So once again, let's change the lineup for the final time. But this is a lineup that I think is really solid um, and I think could definitely win a championship or at least contend for a championship. Definitely moving, to, you know, back towards... 
I feel like what this team should have done um, or what this team was kind of projected to do, I feel like is definitely, um, I feel like this is definitely their best shot. So let's give them some pretty good minutes here. Um, we could do something like this, I guess, or let's lower that. Um, actually, let's give them both 21 and we'll both do that. Boom, 32 across the board there. Actually, let's do 33 to both of them. There we go. So Ben Simmons, Desmond Bain, OG Ananobi, Kevin Durant, Christian Wood, off the bench, Royce O'Neal, Gary Trent Jr., Seth Curry, Rashawn Holmes. Let me know what you guys think about this team, and let's see if they can win a championship. Technically, we are at the trade deadline. I accidentally let it go a game over, but at the trade deadline, wink, we are 36 and 19, which is not bad at all. So let's go ahead and take a look at our player stats here and go ahead and see what this team is doing. So KD leading the way, 23 and a half points, six and a half rebounds, six and a half assists, not bad at all. Desmond Bain, 17 and a half points, four rebounds, three and a half assists, not bad. Ben Simmons, 16 and a half points, six and a half rebounds, nine assists. OG, 16 points, four and a half rebounds, one and a half assists. One and a half steals and half a block per game. That is what I love to see from OG. I do want to actually see though really quick what his, um, he's shooting 40% from three, which is not bad. Desmond Bain shooting 42% from three. KD shooting 44% from three, rounding up of course. Christian Wood averaging 14 points, not bad. Also shooting 30% from three. Again, not the best, but it's definitely better than ha having no floor spacing whatsoever. Gary Trent Jr. off the bench, putting in 14 points per game, shooting 36% from three. Again, I will take that. Seth Curry off the bench, again, putting in 40% from three. I love this team all like all around. I think this team is just really solid. Royce and Nils assist numbers are a little bit down. I don't think his assists like or his passing tendency or whatever in this game is all that high. Um, so I feel like that obviously limits like some of the, you know, assists and stuff that he's going to be getting. But overall, I think this team is playing pretty good and is doing what I kind of thought they were going to do, which is obviously really nice. Because again, I think that this team is what gels together really good. We beat the Bulls 161 to 37 in regulation. What is that? Oh my God. Levine and DeRozan both put up 30 bombs. Christian Wood. Leads the way with 31. Desmond Bain, 28. Uh, ben Simmons with 23. Seth Curry with 23. KD with 22. Well, I don't know how that game happened all in regulation, but, I mean, we, we took the win. That's all that matters. Anybody watching this is probably a fan of my league videos, so I don't think you guys are genuinely going to be surprised at the fact that Luka Doncic wins MVP, averaging 41 points, 12 rebounds, and 11 assists. I don't think anybody is surprised. But here's all the rewards if you guys want to see them. We do take home Coach of the Year, and I... Maybe I think that's uh, executive of the year. I have no idea. Um, all NBA first team, nobody. All NBA second team, nobody. KD on the all NBA third team. There we go. I will say at least we got somebody on here. Ben Simmons on the all defensive first team. Ah, I really wanted to see OG on one of these teams. I think it is because it's 2K that we're probably just not going to get anybody on the, uh, or we're not going to get OG on those teams. But we were the first seed here in the um, Eastern Conference, which again, I don't think anybody expected anything less. Again, final stats on the year. Here you guys go. I'm definitely happy with what this team did. Now, can we go ahead and make the, um, can we go ahead and make the playoff or uh, the, yeah, the playoffs? Can we go ahead and make the finals? We were the second highest scoring team in the NBA and we were the best defensive team in the NBA. That is actually my goal. I'm not even joking. My whole idea about building a team behind KD was giving him that defense to really you know, elevate his offensive game. The problem with the Brooklyn Nets in real life is that they can score the ball, but they can't defend anything. So that is kind of why I wanted to turn it around a little bit. And again, Royce O'Neal, a good addition from, you know, in real life. But then you add in, obviously, again, Ben Simmons finally playing. You add in OG. Again, you have some really good defense there, which I really do like. So first round going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, I don't know if that's a first round matchup, but hey. It is, it is Ben Simmons leading the way. KD going 7 of 24. We win by a point. We literally escape a Giannis triple-double by a singular point. I did not mean to sim the round. And we actually lose two straight. Giannis looking too good for us. We go down 3-1 and we lose 4-1 in the very first round. I mean... Like I said, I don't really feel like Milwaukee is a first round matchup, but I mean, and then the Pelicans are the chip. Ah, that is literally the 2K sim if I've ever seen it. I mean, as far as realism goes, like 
it makes sense these teams being where they are so I, i'm not really too too mad about this like but realistically like with the team that we built i don't know about milwaukee being a first round matchup over here no way the warriors lose to the lakers here no way the nuggets lose to the pelicans i don't see that happening um this could happen depending on if the mavericks pick it up this i mean i don't know what kind of matchup this is i don't know if that'll even happen to be honest i'm not high on the gobert cat trade this definitely is not happening this again is just uh, it's chalked up from the beginning i don't even know the west is whatever but yeah we lose 4-1 in the first round i mean it doesn't end with a championship but i still do think that this is a good impression of what kd's dream team really would look like here in today's nba obviously outside of just filling it with superstars i mean yes but he you know i'm pretty sure there's a certain team he would love to go back to i don't really know i mean i i really don't know i mean there could be a team that he would go back to i don't know if i would want him there i mean but either way you know i do think again at the end of the day kevin durant's dream team definitely would look something like this so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy be sure to smash that like button if you guys did and want to see more of these videos comment down below whose dream team we should build next